Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a pretty lax update and plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks for 2023. So if you're interested in checking that out, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before I get right into this video, I did want to take a quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, I very much appreciate your engagement, so if you have any questions or suggestions, Please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. All right, so this is the previous week. So I'm currently in the 44th week here. And so what I'm gonna do is backfill some of this as I can best remember and go ahead from there. So we went to Lakeside Tavern here. And then we had, oh, I don't know how to set, spell it. Wednesday, I think we had Sopa BS. We obviously had other things too, but Sopa PS and Orchata is my favorite, so I'm gonna write. And Orchata, a really big glass of Orchata. I love Orchata. Um, okay, so we had that there. I'm trying to think. I think we had crab pizza again, and I want to say it was the day I returned, so we'll just write. I'm going to try to go rather quick um, because, well, I also want to set up the following week here, so start you see that here? Flooring install. I think we also saw a truck, but okay. So let's see, did I do that? Kitchen floors, bathroom. We did not do the bathroom remodel. Now, the one thing I do have to say is I do need to grab a sharpie for these stickers. Let's see if I can find it. This is that um, organizer that you can get on Amazon actually, but I think I got it at Home Goods or TJ on clearance. And so that's how I mark the ones I got done. Okay, so while this ink sets, um, it's probably not gonna take very long. I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna do a quick search because I have no plans today for how we could set up like stickers that we can use for the setup for the following week here. So this is what I had previously Oops. and um, I'm really digging these vibes. Let's see what am I doing this weekend? So last week was all travel. This week is all home. What I may do is actually just use the remainder of the stickers. I think I will do that because I hate, I don't know how you guys feel, but I really just don't love um, having remainder sticker sheets. So we'll do that and they'll tie into one another. It'll be great. I'm also looking here on the side for my different Happy Planner sticker books for one that might go along with this very muted tone. So this one, budget is good. Encouragement. I like these for like the big um, phrases here, word phrases. I have the holidays, uh, which would be great. I'm trying to look for fall shine bright productivity okay so i just have a ton of things here i have boxes on the side i know this has a bunch of fall vibes so let's start there okay so let's read this quote here it says nowadays when we hear the word story the first thing we think of is a written version in the form of a book but in fact, historically, it was only later that stories became written, and the most basic form of storytelling was when a person spoke and others listened. So stories were originally meant not to be read in writing, but to be told aloud and be listened to. That's so sweet. I love that. And what great, um, I guess, pair with these books here, although it's saying that you don't need books to tell a story. However, and I mean, like on YouTube too, right? You're not really telling a story with books. Okay. So anyways, long story short, loving it. I'm not going to cover this up. What I will do instead is see if I can find a washi that goes. I still haven't found my washi tape, if I'm being honest with you all. Um, it's very embarrassing. I do. I'm very sad by that. Sorry for the fur. 
And so we'll make do with what we have. My fear is that with these stickers, I won't be able to write on them. I guess up here. <laughs> and um, happy belated. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. It doesn't really match, but maybe I'll find a better one. Um, happy belated Halloween to everyone. Super exciting, so let's just go ahead. Why not? These were stickers that I got from Archer and Olive, like a subscription before I canceled. Um, I will say I have not regretted canceling the Archer and Olive subscription. And it's like really nothing against Archer and Olive and subscription. Uh-oh. But I always wonder that. And I do miss um, my other subscription. Let me put this here. Uh, my sticky club subscription so I might start that one back up I haven't had the chance to I canceled it most more specifically because I was moving and I, I didn't want to update I didn't know where I'd be um, and I have like a thousand stickers um, let's see Monday I did spend reading and so I'm debating do I want to use that one here I like to kind of spread the wealth throughout the page if you can kind of see that that's what I'm trying to do just like spread out the stickers a little bit kind of draw the eye and then I do I might just create check boxes of some sort perhaps and maybe I can use my Midori paintable um, my Midori paintable stamp that I use often I think they sold down on Amazon but I will link one that's very similar that I also have um, on there it doesn't have check boxes and but it does have like the days of the week and weather so i just try to line it up and just mark the days that i want to include and i can move it back and forth it doesn't have to be at the same point the other thing i want to do is mark the days i'm going to class so i'm just using my zero mild liner and my remade ruler that i love uh, i got them this one's from amazon i don't know which one i have two different purples one for school and then one that i got at go wild in 2023 big shout out so i'm going to class the friday saturday here just trying to line up the grid and i just want to highlight the days that i will be in class so just trying to get a straight line i have so much homework to do um i yeah in over my head for sure this looks so cute. It's very similar to the Harney and Sons tea that I love, which is English breakfast. It's the same colors of like this. Ah, I love it. And so we'll keep that. And then over here, let's see how we can incorporate this. I feel like I really want my vintage um, washi tape with the like script and so that I can layer it. I can't find it, so <laughs> that won't be happening. Um, maybe to inspire myself to have some tea today. I did have tea time, I guess, with my girls virtually. Um, don't know if you guys ever do that, but um, I guess in the professional setting, I do like to make some time to have a cup of coffee or tea uh, with some people that I need to honestly build um, strong relationships with anyway uh, for for work. I think it's very beneficial to have that working relationship, easy to talk to each other, willing to call. Like I want folks to call me if they have any questions or problems. And the best way to do that really is to have these like 15 minute chats um, every now and then. And just, you know, ask about family and things like that. So that's what I like to do at least. And then, so we have some of that going. And like I said, I'm missing my fancy washi tape, my, not my fancy washi, my scripty washi, and it's really as simple as that, just pulling things, even if they don't match, um, together, preferably that they did match, but they don't, I don't have a harvest log, because I'm not growing anything yet, it was raining, wasn't it, the other day, I do have a lot of my DIY stickers as well, so let me finish up here, and then move on to that, in the garden, we don't have much in the garden, we don't have a garden. Let's see if any of these tones speak to me. Not really. These might work. This one's nice. Let's see. We can. It doesn't really go, but we're just gonna use it anyway. Because <laughs> I need a task list, and this is a task list. Okay. 
So I'll put that there, nice and handy, dandy. Checking daily, interesting, very interesting. Um, and then marking like important days. So I also have here on the side, days that are important. I wanna say, I'm gonna mark this day here, Tuesday, cause that's when I went in the office. And okay. here's some other stickers. Yep, nothing really speaking to me. Okay, so that's good enough um, from that perspective. We'll see if we can tie in a little bit more here. I like, um, I really like this sticker and I'm trying to find a way to incorporate it and break up the page here. But I think this one might go better. Loving the sizing here. Okay. Oh, should I do it? Okay, let's do it. Let's see if we can squeeze that in mid-page and not have it break anything. <laughs> um, and then I should do a ton of reading here. Maybe up here. Okay, yeah, this is a good spot for it. Sorry if I'm not centered. Still getting used to my boundaries here, my working boundaries, my new desk. Okay, and I do want to use this guy here. Okay, um, all right, so that's pretty good. <laughs> all vibes welcome. These don't really match, so I'm gonna hold off on these. And these could work. I like this little chair here. I really love this chair. Look at that. The kettle, or not a kettle, teapot. Hmm. Let's go with the chair. Okay. All right, so got that down. <laughs> and let's see. So this is good. I'm going to backfill because I've already completed. I'm going to pick the top like few things that I did that day and then um, include that. Just like things I want to remember. So I wanted to plan for the week. I wanted to update date book. Okay. Submit. Okay, so I just do a cross to show that I've completed that task. I want to update my reservation. Okay, so I did that. What else did I do? Work on floors. Okay, and then very lastly, let's say um, download my syllabus. And I did all of that. Okay. Next thing here, I want to break it up just a little bit so. I'll go ahead and use one of my pens here. Let's see if we have a pencil somewhere, maybe. Not sure that I have one handy. Hmm. And I don't feel confident enough in my skills to freehand it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we might have to. And so this was Halloween. Um, that's pretty major. So maybe let's write that in nice bold lettering using my Tombo Food A hard tip from Amazon. And so Okay. 
Okay, so now that we're on a farm, we don't have trick-or-treaters, but we ended up bringing candy into work, so that was a lot of fun. So we spent Halloween doing that, and let's see. And... We went to Wegmans and William. So I'm gonna write that here. Oh, it was Augie's birthday. Okay. Um, and then, so I'm gonna write that here because that's pretty important to me. Okay, fantastic. Alrighty, and so wrote that there, and then we'll move on to the next day. So I'm gonna use this stamp again very quickly and hit it. I don't have any appointments today, so I can get rid of this left column, this imaginary left column, and just hit the most important things. I wanna wash the pet bowls, do a ton of reading, um, okay. Uh oh. Hopefully that doesn't smudge. Okay, reading for corporations. Let's see, what else is on that list? I guess right now, um, which would be... So not to bore you all to death because it's already approaching that 20 minute mark. I try to keep it under that. Anyways, friends, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in seeing how this turns out, make sure you're subscribed because I will probably do a flip, flip through or plan with me in the future, closing out this spread. Um, so if you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell, it should let you know. Um, but as always, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye friends.